Here is the address of the Sharia court. It doesn't necessarily look like a no-go zone, so I'm going to just go. This right here is where Fox News and Breitbart say that Sharia law is being practiced in America. I feel like we're at the dentist. Down the hall and on the left, past the yoga studio and physical therapist, is the Islamic Tribunal. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ayman Ismail. To grow up Muslim means to grow up being feared. So I'm traveling the country to find out for myself if there's really any reason to be afraid of American Muslims. Developing tonight, controversy in a Texas town that is now home to the nation's first Islamic Sharia Tribunal Court. First official Sharia law system in the U.S. allows Islamic law to replace U.S. Sharia law. Sharia law is alive and well in Texas. Dallas has been at the center of the debate about Sharia law in America, thanks to reports that rogue courts are enforcing Islamic law here. The protests and confusion echo what I've heard around the country, that Muslims secretly want to enforce Sharia law on everyone. And this is where some people say it's happening. Welcome to the Mediation Institute of North Texas. I'm a mediator and this is a mediation center. At the same time, we use it for the Islamic Tribunal. It's probably the Islamic Tribunal part that triggered the right. But few stop to ask what this imam actually does. We provide counseling, we provide mediation, we provide notary public. The Muslims, they have a lot of cultural packages that are dominating their life. From Islamic perspective, which one is right, which was wrong, that's the question mostly they will ask. Breitbart.com wrote this entire article saying Sharia law established in Texas. And they had your website and they said these guys are enforcing Sharia law. We are not enforcing nothing. We never call anybody. We never force anybody, but when we have somebody to ask for to be just and to be fair and to tell the husband, listen, this body can arbitrate my case between me and you. It is arbitration body. It's not the Sharia court where the, the, where the stereotype. This is probably a good time to explain what Sharia law is or isn't. It's not a set of laws in the Quran. It's man-made law derived from different interpretations of Islamic doctrine. It's different in different places. Not a lot of Muslims agree on what the law should be. But a lot of protesters don't seem to really understand what Sharia is. Sharia law takes women's power away from them. Sharia law is, is violent. The misunderstanding goes all the way to the top. Sharia is incompatible with Western civilization. Stoning and cutting off Anyone hands. Anyone who believes Sharia law will not be given an immigrant visa. And in Texas, like many other states, there's now legislation to ban so-called foreign law, which many understand to mean Sharia. Right now they're trying to make what you're doing illegal. It depends how to translate and define the foreign law issue. Because still, the rabbi must perform his wedding ceremony for the Jewish community members. Is that foreign law not acceptable? No way. The same thing with the Muslim. So why that's okay and that's okay and now we're not? It seemed obvious that Imam Mujahid was operating like other religious elders, but many lawmakers don't see it that way. I also want to give them a chance to tell it from their perspective. This is Dan Flynn, the state legislator who authored House Bill 45. It's commonly known as American Laws for American Courts. Critics say it's a dog-whistling anti-Sharia bill. I came to ask him if he really believes he's staving off an imminent threat to America. Would you welcome immigrants? We do. Look at my family. They're beautiful. They are. So we are pretty politically correct. I don't know if politically correct is the term there. They're very culturally diverse, but they understand what the, the rules are. And when I say the rules, from the rule of law, they understand what our culture is and they all they love it. They, they all stay in Texas. Do you get asked about Sharia as being a problem a lot? I get asked about everything, and you know this, nobody really likes change. The bill that I passed was not towards any particular, it was against foreign law coming in to our state. Is there anywhere in America where Sharia law is the law of the land? I don't know. I, uh, uh, that, that, here again, that wasn't the goal that we went after. Flynn insisted on this point, but I find it hard to believe that Muslims aren't the target of this bill. At least 120 anti-Sharia bills have been introduced in 42 states since 2010. Most of them originated one place, from a blueprint devised by David Yerushalmi. Sharia is dangerous to the United States. He's the co-founder of a law center dedicated to combating Islam. 
The group came up with American Laws for American Courts, the euphemism that gives cover to lawmakers like Flynn. Sure enough, Flynn's office sent an email to his district effectively warning them that the Muslims are coming. I think I saw in one of the emails that you sent out that it said specifically that this is uh, to try to protect ourselves from Islamic law. I don't remember saying that, uh, and if I, if I said it, somebody else might have printed it for me, but our intent was to be sure that all courts operate under the existing law. Based on the books that he kept in his office, it felt like Flynn was just trying to be politically correct. Maybe about an hour away, there is uh, this organization called the Islamic Tribunal. People voluntarily consult with them. Would you consider that to be a problem in Texas? I don't know that group, and uh, so I, if I don't know them, it'd be difficult for me to evaluate them. I spent most of my afternoon with Flynn, but we never got much further than this. It's tough to believe he's never heard of the Islamic Tribunal. It's one of the right's most cited examples of Sharia in America, and it's right in his backyard. Back with Imam Mujahid, I asked him what he thought about the Sharia uproar. Why are they so scared of uh, Sharia? Ignorance and what these ISIS and evil people are doing in the Middle East. Oh, yeah, we're coming, coming here? We don't want that. Absolutely, we don't want that. But this is not the issue here. We are not practicing Sharia in a way that the way they think about. Beheadings, hands being chopped off, genital mutilation. Of course, that version of Sharia isn't consistent with American law, but it's being practiced nowhere near our borders. And this imam, he's against it. He's but trying to prevent the so laws of like Saudi Arabia coming in here and becoming like Saudi Arabia. No, no, we don't have. So they don't like Saudi Arabia to come here. We don't want them to, so to come here. We want to answer the people, the community members, upon their request. They want to serve their problems and what their rights and their duties. Do you think that what they're doing is wrong in Saudi Arabia? Absolutely, they're doing Saudi Arabia and Afghanistan, Pakistan, whatever the fact. I face it here through the mediation to say women not to be educated. I said the first verse revealed upon the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, read, recite, educate. He didn't say man only read, woman be ignorant. Never have that. It's the word Sharia, right? I think that's like a trigger. The word, the word Sharia is not right, by the way. It's not right, because we never speak about, say, according to Sharia, we have this. According to Sharia, no, we don't have that. We use what is the right and what is wrong. When somebody abuses his wife, is that right? We say no. The imam took me to his mosque nearby. He said someone once left a pig's head outside, but for the most part, the neighbors are great. I'm worried Dan Flynn and other sponsors of these bills don't think about how they affect communities like this. I don't think even Flynn would believe that the imam and his services are a threat. Anti-Sharia crusaders think they're defending Western values. And if we're talking about how Saudi Arabia practices Sharia, they'd be correct. But all these bills really do is alienate American Muslims who even among themselves practice Islam very differently. The new Texas law will likely have no effect on what this imam or the Islamic tribunal does. But it will make Texans trust each other less. I'm afraid it's the next generation who will be the ones who have to live with the consequences.